Uh, my name is Douglas Fruche. I uh, lived in LA for three years, but originally from New Mexico, Albuquerque. Um, just finished the USA's this year in July, and uh, gonna wait and do the USA's again next year. I'm um, just doing some other stuff. So now we're just warming up a little bit, getting the back ready, um, doing some cable pullovers, just to kind of get the shoulder sockets warmed up, feel like you're a little bit looser. You know, sometimes when you walk into the gym, you it takes a little bit to get going, so that's really what I, I always find one exercise that just kind of gets me going. It's not necessarily hard or strenuous or, you know, gonna give you a big pump, but it's just gonna get the sweat going and make you feel ready to go. So now what we're doing, we started our pull downs. And um, so this back workout, we're gonna go ahead and do reverse grip pull downs for the lower lats, followed immediately by overhand pull downs for the upper middle back. Just kind of really hit it right away, get all the blood in there. Um, so, do 10 reps underhand grip, immediately flip our hands over, 10 more reps. So that's what we're looking at here. Really want to make sure to, to squeeze hard down there, squeeze those shoulder blades together at the bottom and then really come up and get a good stretch in your lats at the top. Dumbbell rows, sets of 12. I've always been a real fast trainer. Um, I don't know if, you know, I played football and a lot of other sports throughout the years, but I just, I'm a high energy guy and so I like to train hard and fast. You know, and of course, sometimes that means that I may sacrifice some of the weight I could move if I would have rested a few more minutes, but I like to stay lean, I like to stay athletic, and I like to stay powerful. Even though I'm a 290 pound guy, I like to think I'm athletic at least and can move and breathe and, you know, really still be an athlete, not just a big bodybuilder. So here, we use a supported T-bar row, as you can see. So your chest is supported. What you really want to do is get your chest off of that pad. So as you pull, you're lifting your body up. It's going to really contract the middle back, the lower back, and kind of finish off that contraction. So you want to round your shoulders out at the bottom, pick them up high at the top, and squeeze those shoulder blades together. And really feel the entire back, the musculature of the back, react to that by moving and stretching around your body. So as I wind down to the end of a body part, like right now we're winding down to the end of our back se session, I always like to go something that's gonna give you a really good contraction without a huge amount of weight so that you can get that contraction a good 15 times per set. You know, instead of six good contractions and then six half-ass ones when you're trying to get it because the weight's too heavy. I mean, here we really focus on squeezing every time. I always felt like that kind of solidifies the mind-muscle connection in my head. And so I always finish with something like that. Plus you're too weak to go heavy anyway, we already went heavy. So that's how we're finishing now. We'll finish about three or four sets here with this. Uh, this is a special handle you can only find at Gold's Venice. Charles Glass invented it. At least that's the story, who knows. But you can only find it here. I've never seen this handle anywhere else and it's pretty awesome for this seated row. He's gonna get us some handles real quick. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change this machine so that the hand grips are 90 degrees from where they are right now. And what that allows us is a, you know, a, sho a shovel handle type pull down. It's really gonna hit the outside of those lats. And so we're gonna come here for three sets and superset it with this high row machine that really works the middle back kind of up high. These are two areas that a lot of bodybuilders I think miss out quite a bit. Oh, they forget to train them because they're just small little different tweaks to really hit the back. And so that's what we're gonna do now. One little trick about this guy that I really like is everybody has one of these in their gym is I actually grab up here and I kick my feet behind me so that I can't use them for any balance. And it's just <sighs> One thing, I don't know if it's visible or not, but anytime I'm training back, I really make sure that instead of thinking about pulling my arms back, I'm really thinking about pushing my chest and my body into that movement. That allows me to really contract the lats. Oh. That's back. Like I said, stay tuned. I know we're planning on doing some other videos and I'll go much more intense. I really focus on trying to hit everything and trying to be mindful of what we're doing, but thanks for coming to watch back today at the Mecca, Gold's Gym Venice. Um, Bill Comstock and Generation Iron, thanks for filming me and just, uh, just love training and showing you guys what I know. So always you can find me on Instagram, Douglas Fruche, uh, Facebook as well. Any questions you have, feel free to reach out to me. I always answer all my emails, everything like that. All right, thanks.